Well, an East Bay High School student just won a prestigious National STEM Award. And joining me now, we have Jaden Cummings, 17-year-old junior at Emory High in Emeryville. And we also have Brandon Nichols Nicholson, the founding executive director of the Hidden uh, Genius Project. Thank you both for being with us. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Jaden, congratulations. This is a huge honor to win this award. Can you talk about it? Well, um, the award is a congressional app challenge, and the award um, specifically is to help middle school and high school students um, uh, get into the tech field. And yeah. so for me specifically, my, the app that won, that won the award for District 13, uh, Barbara Lee in the East Bay, uh, was iBlinko. It was a social media management tool. And I'm just so proud to win it. And like, We are proud of you. That is so awesome. And talk about what your inspiration was for this app, developing it. The, my inspiration was specifically um, the fact that mo problems in our community are very prevalent, and specifically in a black community. Mm. And, um, and there's a lot of black businesses in Oakland that have been shutting down in the last few years because of problems such as gentrification. Yeah. And I feel like um, if uh, having those businesses adapt to the modern world, specifically online and social media, can be really empowering and important for them. I love it, and especially high schoolers. You know all about social media, yes. helping people out. Um, let's talk about your, your journal journey and your story and how you got to where you are. Yeah, so um, I go to Emeryville High School. Um, I entered the Hidden Genius Project in the summer going into my sophomore year. Mm. Um, at first, it was um, a really good program. I really enjoyed the things they had us doing. They taught us um, entrepreneurship, leadership, and technical skills. And so, um, spe specifically for me, they brought so many things to the table, and I took that, and they encouraged me to run with it. So I created the company Iblinko, and it, it's very important to see the success that it is bringing today. That is awesome. And what has it meant for you personally just to have that support, to have that encouragement? It means a lot. When I have a problem, knowing that I could call somebody and knowing I have mentors, like, um, and in some cases, uh, male, black male figures, which I didn't have before um, the Hidden Genius Project, is very important. And it really makes me feel comfortable and really motivates me to become the best I can be. I love it because you see these amazing and successful role models yes. that you can look up to and you can see, hey, they did it too. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So Brandon, let's talk about the Hidden Genius Project and all that you're doing for the community. It's awesome. Sure. Well, uh, thank you again for allowing us to have the opportunity to talk about the Hidden Genius Project and what we do. Uh, Jaden, did you want to say the mission or you want me to say it? Uh, I'll say it. The Hidden Genius Project trains and mentors black male youth in technology creation, entrepreneurship, and leadership skills to transform their lives and communities. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I think Love just it. you know, more specifically, <laughs> we're a youth development organization that seeks to help young people reveal their potential. and essentially reach their goals um, by leveraging technology, leveraging entrepreneurship to pursue their passions and, and their interests and then find new pathways as well. And we're based in Oakland, California. We were founded in 2012 and a core black, uh, a core group of five black male technology entrepreneurs had come together to try and pay it forward effectively. And we were a volunteer driven organization for the first two and a half years and then eventually built a staff and an infrastructure. And that's what you see today. Um, but what I can say is, you know, ultimately we believe that a rising tide lifts all boats. And so we have this core program we do, which is a 15 month intensive with high school students, black male high school students like Jaden. And at the same time, we do a number of other events and have a number of different verticals and partnerships in the community where we're teaching technology to young people from across backgrounds. But the way we do that, and the thing I think for which many of us are most proud, is uh, through empowering and training our alumni like Jaden and others as youth educators who are then able to facilitate technology workshops in their community. That's so great. And what has it meant for you personally just to be so involved in, in these students' lives? It's been a great thing for me. I grew up in Oakland, California, and I've always believed in the potential and capabilities of our communities, of our young people. I know a lot of times uh, coming into this work, a lot of people see us as working with at-risk youth or addressing ills in the community. And from our perspective, we're actually working with at-opportunity youth and really helping uh, 
reveal again the great potential and the great uh, richness in our communities and a lot of that comes just in the brilliance and genius of the ideas our young people have and the things they're able to do and so when Jaden talks about uh, building iBlinko for example and he spoke about this idea that young people actually have social media skills uh, and are very sharp and adept at those and so he wanted to take you know those skills that he know resonates uh, he knows resonates within his community and then uh, help them or leverage them to help other folks in his community yeah. and of course then turn that into a business and so for me personally uh, just to be able to support folks like Jaden and others to be able to see themselves as powerful as capable and as leaders in their community is is invaluable that's so great and yeah and how proud are you of of Jaden and his award and all that he's achieved well, I'm ex extremely proud I think um you know, I've been a big supporter uh, of uh, the congresswoman in our 13th district for a long time, Barbara Lee, and so she's been a great supporter of our organization as well. Mm -hmm. And so we see it also as a point of pride that we can represent her district and that Jaden can be the one to do it. I think he's extremely well positioned to try and win this whole thing. And, and again, just his business, I Blinko, one thing I just wanted to say about what he yeah. did was he took this and ran with it, he mentioned, um, but in ways we'd never seen before. Uh, We've had cohorts going back to 2012, and we'd never seen one young person take their first summer, that first three months, and then just start running with an idea for the next 12 months and build something on their own. And he was starting to get way ahead of his peers and the other classes and cohorts just in terms of, because he was doing so much research. Mm -hmm. He was devouring information on how to build this business. And so wow. he immediately built a web version of it and then a mobile app version of it, and you know began you know buying domains and Business, building his business model and testing, so he's just been such a phenomenal, uh, you know, entrepreneur and and a great model for uh, those to come. Wow, a future leader, Jaden. I love it. And just thinking, you know, this organization is to help the community, and Jaden's already thinking, how can he give back, back, and how can he help his community? I think that is awesome. What are uh, the things that you're most proud of, uh, Brandon, about the organization? I mean, you've been with the Hidden Genius Project from the very beginning, and you've seen it grow. Yes, I think that the biggest thing is for us has just been being able to be authentic and continuing to put our geniuses at the center of what we do, have a youth-centered approach and believe in our young people and see where it takes us. And so when you look at our growth, as you said from the very beginning, our first cohort in 2012 in Oakland was just five young people. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, uh, we're forever grateful to those families who's trusted us with their young people, yeah. sight and seen. They probably shouldn't have, but we did our <laughs> best. We did our best. Um, and now, you know, in 2019, we served 150 some odd young people in our intensive program and then another 2,000 through our other programs and we had programming as far away as Buffalo, New York wow. and Johannesburg, South Africa and London, England and you know more importantly than where we programmed or some of the cool stuff we got to do I think the thing that we're most proud about again is the fact that our young people are at the forefront. And when you look at our website, or you look at our social media, you look at who's leading our programs, who's facilitating these workshops. It's Jaden and it's you know other young people like him who are actually taking the charge. And they're probably more effective in many ways <laughs> at doing this than we are, being closer in age, having shared experience, yeah. and also just being really sharp uh, and having lived experience, having built these things. And so if Jaden can do it, maybe I can too. And so we're really proud of that. That's so great. And I love the emphasis on leadership and also STEM. I think that's so great. I'm a big STEM advocate. And you know, having entrepreneurs, having leaders uh, in the STEM community as well to be those role models, I think is so important and so great. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, one thing I would note certainly as well is, you know, STEM standing for science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Um, it's quite important also to integrate the STEAM, mm -hmm. uh, the arts yeah. within it. And then uh, some folks actually add an extra E. So it's STEAM. What's uh, the extra E? The extra E would be for entrepreneurship. Okay. And you saw okay. how I resonant that was for Jaden. <laughs> um, but I think more than anything, it's, it's about helping our young people realize you don't have to change who you are. You don't have to change what you love. The great opportunity we have right now is to incorporate technology into whatever your interest is. And so that's the one thing we try and pay attention to as an organization. And I think certainly for our communities and organizations like ours, 
elevate and privilege the young people, their interests, their skills, their passions, and then work from there. And so if Jaden thought we were going to make him, you know, build an app for something that was completely not mm -hmm. interesting to him, we're probably not having this conversation. Right. Um, right. But because, you know, he was just able to take the, uh, you know, the, the basic and foundational components and then go fishing, as we say, <laughs> you know, to figure out how to do the rest and allow us to support him. But from his interests, uh, that was really important. And I think that's the key to having really positive and meaningful you know, STEM or STEAM experiences. That's so great. And Jaden, how has your life transformed uh, since joining the Hidden Genius Project? My life has transformed immediately, really. Um, I spoke at their uh, in the summer celebration, which is a gathering of all the geniuses, and um, that allowed me to build my public speaking skills. Um, it, I've also been uh, at youth educating um, gigs and um, programs where I can build on my uh, teaching skills also and cool. educate people on what I know, yeah. which is also very empowering. And also, I'm, they help us with college and- um, I Like everything, yeah. wow, that's so with great. And have, for college, yeah. have you thought about what you wanna do for a future career? Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> after high school, I do plan to go to college and I do plan to uh, keep pursuing my current company, iBlinko, right. as far as possible, yeah. and eventually hope to break even on it <laughs> and to um, uh, hopefully get it funded by a, a venture capitalist. Okay, and, all right, and I Jayden. do want to pursue a, a career in STEM, yeah. uh, specifically computer science, and I'm so happy to have the Hidden Genius helping me out. That's so great. So uh, later on this month, or next month in March, uh, there is the national hashtag House of Code ceremony on Capitol Hill. And so you have a GoFundMe, right? Can you yes. talk about that and get into DC? Yeah, so right now uh, I have a GoFundMe up. It is to uh, raise $3,000 to help uh, pay for me to go to DC and for me to participate in the House of Code where I'll be showcasing my um, app iBlinko to congressmen wow. and congresswomen and to many people, yeah. and this is an opportunity of a lifetime, and I need um, the help of the people um, to get me there. We need to get you there, <laughs> for sure. 